G'day guys. It's a beautiful 28 degrees today. So I've come down the local channel, brought a couple of bait traps. I'm gonna throw them in overnight with the hope that when I come back in the morning, I can have a big bucket full of bait sized jabbies. I generally have some pretty good luck with yabbies at this spot, but only at night. For some reason, if I come and throw my nets in during the day, I get nothing at all. So maybe the redfin just feed on them too hard during the day and they've learned to only come out at night. I'm not really sure. But either way, I've got one of my nets here. I've just filled up the bait pouch with some Aldi dry dog food, uh, beef flavour, I think. They should love it. Well, the channel's much the same. For its entire length. There's no real spots that are more likely to have yabbies than others. So I'll just put a net up there and a net here and we'll see what happens. So this will be net number one going out here. And a couple of hundred meters downstream, net number two. Righto, so two bait traps in the water, ready to be checked in the morning, hopefully full of yabbies. While I'm here, I'm going to throw around some spinners and plastics and hopefully catch a few reddies for a feed. If I don't do any good, you probably won't see any footage from that, we'll just cut to tomorrow morning. If I do do some good, you'll probably see me catch a fish in a sec. Well, I'm slowly working my way back to the car with the lures, but I thought I might do a patented Robbie Alexander impatient check on the way back. <laughs> I never get anything before sunset usually. Oh, look out. I actually got a yabby. Are you kidding me? I'm not even going to risk leaving him in there. I'm going to take him home because they can escape at times. Got the bucket there, so I'll get him in there. Oh well, I actually was not expecting a yabby. <laughs> awesome. There you go, one Cherax Destructor. Might be on the slightly large size for yellow belly bait, but I can always hang on to him for a few weeks and keep him for Murray Cod season. You ripper, into the bucket you go. Right, oh, now I'll slowly keep fishing up to where the next net is and I'll do an impatient check on that one as well. <laughs> Come on mate, let's go try and catch a redfin on the way. Can I get another yabby? That'd be nice. Let's find out. Well, I think there was one on the outside, but there is one on the inside. And a shrimp. Actually, I think I have caught a shrimp in here before. <laughs> you ripper. How, how did I get some worm in there? That's interesting. All right, so we've got a rip a little bait size yabby. Look at that guy, awesome. And a little freshwater shrimp that I'll freeze when I get home. So a couple of yabbies and a shrimp. Not bad considering I thought I'd have zero before it got dark. I'll take them home and I'll come back in the morning and check my nets for hopefully a lot more. I'll still fish my way back up to the bridge. But uh, if there's no action, I'll see you in the morning. <clears throat> Righto, what have we got this morning? Well, not as many as I was hoping for, but that's very good still. I can see a ton of shrimp in there too. I'll freeze up nice to use as bait later. It's about five yabbies and about eight shrimp by the look, but I'll pull them out and count. No eggs, number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And a handful of shrimp as well, which I'll take home to freeze. I'll leave that there, I'll pick it up on the way back to the car. I think last time I had about 20 yabbies in each net, so that was a little bit disappointing. Hopefully the second net uh, has a few more in it. What do we got in net number two?
Uh, well, smaller yabbies, better for yellow belly, but an equal result. I think there's about four yabbies and half a dozen shrimp. Oh well, that'll do. Can't complain. One, two, three, four. Much better bait sized yabbies. And oh wow, there's more than half a dozen. I reckon there's about a dozen shrimp in there, but I'll keep all them as well. I'll freeze them up to be used as excellent frozen bait. There we go, there's my haul of only nine yabbies. <laughs> Can't complain though, that'll get me started for using them as bait. I can always do a couple more trips and get some more. I reckon there's about 20 freshwater shrimp in there that I can freeze as well. If you're wondering what I mean about freezing shrimp, I'll leave a link in the description to where I've done a video covering that in the past. But including the two yabbies I got last night, that's 11 I think, bait sized yabbies, and about 20 shrimp that I can freeze up as well. So my bait should be covered for the next couple of months. If not, I can always come back and throw them in another night and get some more. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment. See you next time.